In this video, we are going to help you measure your blinds for inside the recess, outside the recess and for a bay window so that you can find the perfect fit for your window. To get started, all you need is a tape measure, pencil and notepad. Keep a stepladder on hand just in case. Let's see how to measure for fitting a blind inside your window recess. While taking the measurements, ensure you leave enough room in front of any obstructions like the window handles and that there is enough space for the blind to fit into the recess. Once you've found the sweet spot, measure the width from wall to wall at the top, middle and bottom. Note the narrowest of the three measurements. In case your window has tiles covering part of the inside recess, measure the space between the tiles and that will be the narrowest measurement. Now to measure the drop. Measure from the top of the window recess down to the window sill. As before, measure on the left, middle and right side of the window and take note of the smallest measurement. When placing your order, be sure to select recess measurement. This will automatically remove one centimetre from the overall width so the blind fits perfectly. Here's how you measure the outside recess. First, figure out the area you want the blind to cover. To minimise light leakage, we recommend that the blind should overlap the window by at least 75mm around each edge. Once you've decided, it's time to measure. Start off by marking this area on all edges and measure the width from the outermost points you've marked. Now measure down to get the height measurement and that's it! For those with bay windows, we've got you covered as well. In addition to the tape measure, pencil, a notepad and a stepladder, you'll need two sheets of A4 size paper. Measuring blinds for a bay window, be it angled or 90 degree box, is a tad tricky. You can't just measure the width as you did for a traditional window. For a 90 degree bay window, you have two options. Firstly, determine the head rail depth. This is how far the blind sits away from the window. Then choose whether the middle blind is the full width or the side blinds. For an angled bay window, you need to decide where you want the blinds to sit before you begin. Now place the two pieces of paper on the windowsill and mark them both with the blind projection measurement. This measurement will vary with different blind types. To find your projection measurement, go to our website. For this video, our measurement is 70 millimeters. Slide them both towards the window, then take your measurements between the marked areas on the windowsill for your blind's width. Repeat the same for all the angles on your bay. Then mark where you want your outermost blinds to finish. Once you've done that, make a note of each width with your tape measure. Now for the drop, take three measurements, left, middle and right for each window panel on your bay and note the set of measurements for a consistent fit. When placing your order with bay window measurements, be sure to select exact fit. Once done, head over to our website, select from the range of blinds and get in touch with us for a quick quote.